that I'm at an all time. Hey, what is going on guys? I'm Ben Hope guys are having a great day and what I have for you guys today is I haven't made a video like this in a very long time plus I haven't uploaded so I thought I had a good idea to do this. You'll see I'm already at Prestige 5 level 30. Uh, 2.8, 1.90 win loss. I get a lot of scrubs on my team. Uh, score per minute 378. My only excuse for that is my most wins is in search and destroy. Obviously, with search and destroy, you're not gonna get a shit high, like thing. But you'll see here in domination, my score per minute is 518. But then in here it's 127. So it kind of averages out to be in the 300. So that's my excuse for that. And then I have a three. Oh yeah, I already said that. But you'll see. I'm already at Prestige 5 and level 30, but I, yeah, I only have 2 days and 10 hours played. And then, like, 2 days, 10 hours, ten, about 10 and a half hours played. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen your, um, like, you, if you checked how much time you have played, you know what level you are, but you'll know that that's really good. 2 days played, I'm already through 5 Prestiges, getting kind of, like, about halfway to 6. So that's crazy. So what I want to show you guys is my tips for ranking up really fast, because that's all I've been really focusing on. I mean, hell, if I go through this stuff, I haven't even been going for camos. I mean, I haven't even completed all the headshot camos for the M8. But I haven't been using that much until recently. But even, like, uh, the most gun it said I use is the CUDA, right? So, like, you'll see here, I probably don't even have a gold yet. No, because I just haven't been going for it. See, all I gotta do is these two things. I already got the headshots and these, because you just get those naturally. But I just haven't been going for camos. I've been just strictly playing to play and do really well. And I want to show you some of my tips here. So to start off, score streaks. Score streaks are a very good, essential way of leveling up. Now, since I'm a YouTuber, I also play for gameplay. So like, like high kill or nuclear, which I know lately I've been lacking on, but I haven't been able to play COD as much as I like used to lately. So it's kind of been shitty. So what I'm running here, since what I have available is a UAV. UAVs are great. They give you a uh, a slight location of where the people are in the map and on top of that teammates kill them while the UAV is up you get assist points so that's another way to get XP so think of the hair you know exactly where they are and you can um, you get assist points when teammates kill them and remember getting kills is better than letting score sheet get kills but I run the reps because they're really good for uh, kind of map control I guess and kills at the same time so like while I have the hater in there, I can drop the wraps. That way the teammates are taking all my freaking kills while the haters in the air. Um, really, of course, uh, specialist doesn't matter all too much. Use the spe what I would highly advise is use specialist your best with the one you're going to utilize the most because that's how you're going to make the most of it. Because you know you only get certain specialists so many times a game. I like to use kinetic armor, um, and it depends on the game mode. But I, uh, what I'm about to show you next, it just kind of leads to me preferring that. Um, really, a weapon doesn't matter. The weapon you're going to do the best with. That's really what I'm going to advise. If you do great with pistols only, use a pistol only. Like, there's not much to say about that. Um, my third option, or not option, but like, or not my third, but going on with it, the next thing I highly recommend is playing hardcore. One, um, for some reason, I don't know if you noticed this, but you tend to get a lot more XP in hardcore than you would regular core. And then within hardcore, I'd highly recommend playing something objective. Domination, kill confirmed, maybe S and D, capture the flag. I try to avoid like team deathmatch or free for all because you can play objective one that's gonna lead to more score, which leads to more XP and all that happiness. And secondly, uh, objective helps you get score streaks. That's one of the biggest things I can tell you. Now I'm gonna hop into a game here. We're gonna see what I can do and how much XP I can get per game. Because you know sometimes I play bad or not. This is live comp, so it's gonna be difficult. I have a lot of pressure on me now to do well. Um, I like using the M8 hardcore though, because it's like a one burst guarantee most of the time, and it's just a good gun to use. Sorry, you're not gonna be able to see my face here for a second, but um. That's really all the tips I can give you. Other than that, um, as far as game, like playing well, like in general, make sure your sensitivity is not too high. If you find yourself having difficulty to aim, you're going to have to go down. If it gets harder, you're going to have to go up higher. Like if you're playing on, like I play on a 7, and let's say I struggled on a 7, I'd go down to 6, and if I wasn't doing good at 6, then I'd go up to 8. Like I just, I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy talking. But so that's as far as sensitivity adjustment. Other than that, you just gotta practice, you gotta, you know, get used to aiming and all that happiness. Not much else to say, let's go ahead and get into it and see what I can do here. I don't know where the enemy team is just joining. 
keep forgetting I'm playing hardcore, I gotta be careful. And core you play a little bit different, which is really what I've been playing all day. That's a six, six and a kick for that is. Here's someone. Other than that, you really want to have a good map awareness. You kind of want to understand the spawn. That's one reason getting 100 pluses in Nuketown is easy because I'm like my. Obviously, it's a small map. It's easy to know where they're spawning at like all time. Look at that lucky in this hip fire. Have you UAV? Please don't kill me. Oh my god. How did I get hit but not die? That's crazy and hardcore. Yeah, like I said, look at that. I already got a blood there. Too. Um, oh yeah, another thing, try to jump in the air, so you get ju jump shots and shit. You get jump shots, so like that I could have had an easy jump shot. You get jump shots, which is medals. If you can get like that much more medals, then that's just really good. It leads to more XP. That's a tip I had in my last thing. Look at that, barrel shot down 120 pounds, I've 100. That's another good way to get XP. Headshots, headshots, you know, medals, just medals in general. Guys, I'm actually doing really good right now. We're on a 10. We're on a 10. I have a UAV. I'm getting extremely close to the hater. Let me mute everyone. Make sure no one talks. Got a UAV. On. I, sh I think you get the hater. It's like 11 or 1200. So we're actually looking at a potential nuclear incoming. I don't. Oh my god. I already said it in Jinx. I very much just fucked myself. But like I said, jumping's a really good tip to give you. Let me turn my volume up just a little bit. Oh, I thought we were in the first half. Well, anyway, guys, I went 10 and 1. <laughs> I went on a 10 streak. Yeah, I'm sorry that was cut so short, but we'll see how much XP I got just for the 10 kills. Going on a merciless, going on streaks is really good. Um, here's one of my good recommendations to you. If you don't want to play hardcore, that's fine. You're gonna get, a, you know, these tips are gonna help you either way. I am gonna play another game for you guys just because, you know, that that's bullshit. Anyway, um, if you play really, really aggressive, I'd highly recommend using a sub, but if you play really passive, that's an AR, it's, an AR. it's just like the way you play is normally the type of gun you want to use. I'm normally a sub player, because you'll even see now, even with the M8 being an AR, I'm really aggressive, but I only use the M8 core, just because I do play too aggressive for core to work, but the, with the M8 being a one-shot kill and hardcore, it kind of bounces it out to being a good gun for me, because I can play aggressive and just still be able to milk it super fast. Most uh, submachine guns take... Um, if I could speak, most submachine guns take two shots in hardcore, so it's a little bit more difficult. So you'll see here, I did get a couple cams. That's a good thing. If you don't have dark matter, it is good to go for. How do we not have this unlocked? That doesn't make sense to me. But oh yeah, shoot. Um, I got 10,000 XP for 10 kills. Like that's insane, guys. It's actually a lot just for 10 miles of kills. I'd rather play fringe. Why no one else winning fringe? Fringe is such a good map. But. Um, going for camos is good. If you haven't fully prestiged your gun, you can prestige your gun and go through, go through it again. You'll get XP for re-unlocking all the attachments by itself. So if you think that's easy, then yeah, that's one thing I highly recommend is max prestige and all the guns you like to use. Um, once again, yeah, camos are great to go for if you don't have dark matter yet. The only reason I'm not doing it is because I don't... I've, I'm just going to get angry because I remember how it went when I was going for camos. They look, okay, nice early start. I don't like this map too much, to be honest, though. But, um, I just don't want to waste time to make myself angry, because that's all I'm going to do. Is I remember how, how angry I got going for Dark Knight the first time. Like I said, getting headshots is really good. I can hear someone behind me. Uh, see, like, I shot him through the wall, though. Oh, I got a town. That's great. My teammates doing. That's where the guy's shooting. If you guys can afford a headset, I know I have Astros. I've got them from like a friend for like 80 bucks. I don't really like have all this money to blow like it may seem. All my setup, which I do plan on kind of explaining and going into when I do my setup here soon. Uh, obviously, I still with my parents. I don't have my own camera. I'm gonna use their camera, so it's just good quality. Good quality for the setup video. You'll see I'm not doing too good here. But, um, good quality for the setup video. And, um... I could talk. And they went on on a trip, so I was gonna do it sooner. I was gonna do it sooner, but, um, yeah, that had happened, so I couldn't have to count. 
that guy was doing. I think there's a teammate behind me. He fell off the map or something. I don't know. Once I got here, go. I can see that there's no enemies around here. It's just OBJ all the way. 200 free points, 200 free experience. Plus you got that secure metal. That's even more experience. It's just free. Don't just walk past it. You're, we'll pop back up. If your teammates are capital flag and it seems safe, jump it. If you don't think it's safe, you think there's someone else around, you can be skeptical. Choose not to jump it for the sake of not wanting to die. That would be very... Oh, shoot. Oh, don't roll towards me. That's smart because you don't want to die. And um, I do highly recommend that if you're on like, a good streak. Ooh, my whole team just jumped that shit right down. I'm gonna pop the map here. How did I- I didn't even remember scooting back. I don't know why I did that. I'm playing horribly, guys. I'm sorry. I play a lot better off camera. In a live time, anyway. Like... I don't like what the smoke does. I think that's the dumbest shit ever. Oh, I just killed you. I'm so sorry, teammate. Let's pay attention to the UAV. I just saw an enemy in there. My fuck was killing the enemy, so I pre-fired. It's okay. I think that was him, and he got me back. I don't know. My bad. Whoever I did, if you see this video for whatever reason, I do apologize. That's why I love the MA. See how aggressive I can play and still be fine? And long distance. Look at this. Long distance, just easy. Long distance, short distance. You just gotta know how to use the gun. Okay. The people in the Kiva final, and even though we still have a 2.0, top of the leaderboard after joining in very late, which is very good. I know it's an easy gun to use, and some of you are probably gonna say that, like, dude, that's a fucking easy gun to use. But yeah. Like I said, I am playing a little bit. Ugh. I got him in a comment too, which is very good. I have a UAV, I do not. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, they already have to be, what the fuck? See what I mean? If you haven't used the MA in hardcore yet, bro, you need to try it. It's dominant. Please don't let fall from that here. I think it would be huge for me right now. Get close to that hater. Can we move over to me? Try to contest. Oh shit. Okay, the wave is down. We're getting close to the raps and hater boys though. There we go. I love hardcore though, to be honest. When I'm playing by my when I'm playing by myself, I love hardcore. Headshots I was talking about. Look at this free capture. Free 200 points. I just gotta watch the mini map, make sure they don't push me out. Look at the assist, the hater says, see that? That's, that's just what I'm referred to. We'll hold on the UAV until the hater runs out. They're obviously gonna. Oh, I shouldn't have went in there seeing all the raps. I was just dumb on my part. Whatever. Shit happens. I'm not, I'm actually pulling you guys. I'd be so angry right now, but I don't like the rage on camera. I thought I saw someone on the mini map. I saw him in the last second. 29 and 8, not too bad, not too bad at all. Not for a live com anyway. Oh, that's another tip. Pre firing, you'll see a lot of professionals doing it and shit. But it's a really handy tip. If you know someone's there, just you know, try to fade them out, pre fire them. It really is a useful, it's a good. I hate when they just blow up for what appears to be like no fucking reason. But yeah, pre fire. Oh, that, I just. Ah! It's like they want to kill me. It was stuck. I saw it, but it was like too late. I had already started running towards it, even though I did see it. I think I'm going to pop connect just because if I don't use it. If I don't use it now, I'm not going to use it. 
That's fine. We still got a what is that? A three three KD. I like the KD. That's the only thing I like. I've been like about the MA though. Just... Okay, that's the one reason I hate using connect in hardcore. Every time I use it, it seems like they headshot me. The brecky. If you use the brecky, I'm sorry. If you use the brecky, if you use the brecky in hardcore, you have no skill. I'm sorry. If you're a sub and you have no skill, I know some of you are subs and you're probably better than me so watching this is just like what the fuck is he talking about is he retarded i'm starting to play shitty and i'm getting too from focus oh, i did see someone actually i checked there i was hoping my teammate over there you know thank you for finally killing him his name is trust me i'm whatever the fuck that gamer tag is I can't trust you, man. You just let me die. I think I can never trust you again. They don't really go that way. I'm surprised. I'm not sure where they are. I don't have a good map now. Because once again, I don't really. I wasn't very fond of this map. I don't know. Thought I hit him. I wasn't very fond of this map, but I also just haven't played it that much. Maybe I didn't give it a chance. Because I'm actually not minding it too much. I'm not doing the best, but. Granted, I'm not doing the worst. I could be doing a lot worse right now. Thought I saw someone up there. I did indeed. There's a headshot and another good amount of XP. Oh, I saw him too. Did I just see someone else, an enemy? I think I did. I did. What's up, fam? Oh. Okay, whatever. 39-17 with 5 captures and 8 defense. That's not too bad. See, 5,000 score, I joined very late. I didn't do my best, obviously. Obviously, guys, I'm not a god. I just can't be like 100 pluses every game and shit. I'm nowhere close to being that good. But, just trying to give you guys an example. I'm playing quite early in the morning because I really do owe you guys a video. It's been a couple days. I felt a little bad. So, I had to make quick. This isn't even a quick video anymore. This is a long video. So I hope you guys enjoy. That's really it until we get out to the lobby though. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as always. Might as well get this going now before it gets on too long. And let me know if these tips help you guys. I really hope they do because normally I average 40,000 experience per game in Hardcore Dom. 40 to 50. This game's going to be a little short. I didn't wasn't really on the top of my game. But I normally get like eight to 9,000 score per Dom game. Hardcore Dom. Normally, but this isn't my map. It's a new map. Well, it's not really new, but I haven't played as much as I should have by now. And I just don't really know the map as well to get a lot of kills. I did a bunch of retarded stuff like jumping into my raps, which really could have costed a good streak. You know when you're on a good streak and then you just die, it just kills the momentum. It's just like you don't start playing. You don't, you know, streak you're gonna, you don't, you don't keep playing as well. Um, by the way, if you guys do on sub or dislike a video, I really would appreciate if you let me know. See here, twenty thousand uh, experience. Oh, close, close enough to 20,000. Uh, but look at all the medals. Like, that's key. Look at this. 500 experience for the Merciless. Where's the jump shot? So that's what I want to see. Jump shots, 10 of them. See? That's 100 XP per jump shot. So, like, if you get a jump shot... What is this black market thing all about? I think it's because of that. Okay. Um, if you get a jump shot, you get, like, double the experience normally. Well, because a regular kill is 100 a jump shot is would make it 200 and if you get a jump shot headshot that's like uh what do you think five is it 500 experience for a headshot i think or 400 or something like that i don't know you get a couple hundred experience that's a lot of experience if you follow all of them tips anyway guys i really hope this did enjoy it there is no certain weapon you have to use to get a lot of experience there's no true certain streaks whatever you do best with I mean, even I could have taken out wraps and put in a Cerberus. I probably wouldn't have got as many kills as I did because it just deploys lots of units to where that's one unit roaming the map. Um, for like, if I really wanted to go for kills, I could have taken off the hater and put on the Cerberus or even the Talon. The Talon's really good in hardcore, or even the UAV. Take off the UAV and put on the Talon or Cerberus if I want to go for kills. But like I said, the UAV gets you lots of assist points, which is really good towards experience. In fact, there is there a metal? For that, I don't even know. If there's a medal for that, that'd be. I'm looking to see. 
Uh, I don't see it anywhere. But even in hardcore, this is another good reason to play hardcore. Because you're almost guaranteed one-shot kills. You'll see of what, the 39 kills I had? Yeah, 39. I got 23 of them were one-shot kills. That's... That's 2,300 for that alone, and that just comes with naturally playing hardcore pretty much. So, I'm, I don't want to drag this out any longer than it already is. I hope you guys did enjoy. Once again, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, expect a, um, a setup video really soon, like maybe even tomorrow or today's upload technique. I think I'm going to try and double upload. Is this going up at like 3 in the morning? And I'm going to try and do the thing again today on Tuesday. The, 23rd if I know the date so I really hope this did help you guys though a lot and that's it guys um I'll see you guys in the next video